one of the biggest problems we have in security is the terrible complexity of what we've built. Uh, complexity breeds problems because it's harder to understand and there are too many different places where attacks can occur, faults can happen, other kinds of issues. Uh, how have we gotten there? Well, in part, it's because we're a developing field. There's a lot of incrementalism that's going on where new ideas are developed. Uh, vendors feel they have to make new releases to be able to continue to generate revenue streams. So great care is not put into putting out stable, long-lived pro uh, products. It's uh, much better to get something to market first, to get the market share, lock in customers, and uh, then additional materials are added later. This, of course, has led to pushback from consumers who want to build things faster, uh, quicker patching, quicker turnover, and uh, we've seen a number of different approaches to software development that have been uh, intended to do that. Uh, but again, those are more point solutions rather than overall engineering. So the result of all of this is we have this very complex infrastructure that has been built in large part simply to work and to generate revenue rather than to be secure. And as we continue to add to it and add new layers, add patches, add new layers of virtualization and uh, um, try to increase capacity, it is adding on to rather than contributing to an overall architecture and plan for security. The result of all this is that we have ended up now with um, infrastructure, with systems that are too complex for any individual to understand. Too complex for any individual to understand what the consequences are of small changes, uh, the consequences are of, of adding new uh, items to it. And for anyone on the outside who's going to be developing products to fit into that architecture, uh, they don't necessarily know all the ways that it has been altered and layered and put together by end customers, thereby resulting in potential gaps and seams. The last comment on, comment on this is that we actually do know how to build more secure systems with less complexity. Uh, it means being more tailored, more fit to purpose. Uh, it's more expensive to build that way, but we don't value security enough to want to do that. So some of the system engineering skills that have been developed over the years have atrophied a bit. Uh, we don't use them and it, it simply doesn't fit in today's market where the idea is uh, being first to market and that security means being faster to put on a patch. So I'm, I'm uh, disappointed really with much of the direction of where we're headed um, and not terribly optimistic that it's going to get fixed anytime soon because there's such a huge sunk cost in basically broken artifacts. Um, I'm not sure if my colleagues on the panel will agree with that, but I'll leave it with that provocative statement for them to speak next.